Importance and Uses of Natural Resources Natural resources are naturally forming substances that are considered valuable in their natural forms. The value of a natural resource lies in the amount of the material available. The efforts required for its extraction and purification is taken into consideration as against its creation. A nation's natural resource includes its minerals, its energy, land and water. Rocks are used to build houses, bridges and other stable structures. A very important building material is concrete, which is made from cement and cement is made from the sedimentary rock called limestone. Glass and other ceramics are also made from rocks by treating them with heat and other chemicals. Rocks have been used as tools and weapons since the first human being appeared over two and a half million years ago. Just as rocks are the building blocks of the landscape, minerals are the building blocks of rocks. Minerals are chemical materials from which rocks are made. Rocks are composed of one or more mixtures of minerals in any proportion. Minerals are inorganic substances with a definite chemical composition. They are found in nature in the crust of the earth. They have a crystalline form and are usually solids. Major rock forming minerals are quartz, feldspar and mica. All these are found in granite. Hence, granite is the basic rock of which all continents are formed and is the most important material on the surface of the earth. Common metals like iron, copper, silver, gold and aluminium are found in the interior of the earth in its ore form. All resources used by humans, including fuels, metals, minerals, ultimately come from the earth. Many of these resources are not in endless supply. They have taken many thousands and millions of years to develop and accumulate. They must be used with care, they must be conserved and recycled. As responsible citizens of this planet, we should conserve all resources and reduce waste. Human beings cannot live without natural resources and hence conserving them is a necessity. Minerals and rocks make up the crust of the earth. How would earth support life if there was no surface to live upon? Many minerals and elements are necessary for life. Rocks and minerals support all living things and are the sources of soil upon which many plants grow. Plants are the beginning of the food chain. Hence, minerals and rocks are of utmost importance to the lives of the human beings. There are many uses of rocks and minerals. Rocks like marble, sandstone and slate are used to make buildings. Such stones are used to make buildings, carvings, statues for artistic purposes. Minerals such as sulfates, phosphates, nitrates and potassium are useful nutrients for the growth of plants. They are added to the soil as manure and fertilizers and hence are very important to farmers. Metals like gold, platinum, silver, copper, iron, nickel, zinc and aluminium occur in rocks in the metallic ore form. These metals are used for making many things of daily life like utensils, coins, wires, machines and jewellery. Precious stones like diamonds, rubies and emeralds are also found in rocks. 
They are used for making ornaments. Apart from the above minerals, coal and petroleum are two valuable underground resources. The Earth's crust contains large deposits of coal and petroleum, along with minerals and metallic ores. Both coal and petroleum are found underground and are useful to mankind in many ways. Do you know how coal is formed? Coal is formed from vegetable matter. Millions of years ago, dense forests on the surface of the earth got buried under the soil. Due to high temperature and pressure, they changed into peat, lignite and coal. Such dead vegetable matter got preserved between layers of sedimentary rock in very thick deposits. These are our coal mines. We get coal from these mines and use it for cooking food, in blast furnaces for making steel, in railway engines to produce steam and for many other purposes. Coal is used in many ways. It is used to generate electricity. Coal byproducts are used in making plastic, tar, synthetic fibers, fertilizers and medicines. Coal is baked in hot furnaces to make coke, which is used to make iron needed for making steel. It takes extreme pressure and millions of years for decomposing organic matter to turn into coal. So, when we burn it and use it, it is gone forever. Coal is a non-renewable resource, which means it cannot be replaced as we consume it. It cannot be produced, regrown, regenerated at the scale at which we consume it. Also, it is not equally distributed around the world and is not available in abundance. Coal resources are depleting and at an alarming rate. If we do not use it carefully, it will get exhausted in the next two to three decades. Hence, coal is as important as electricity in all countries. Coal is available in abundance, it is cheap, easy to transport and store and it has been the primary source of steam but we have to conserve it and use it diligently. Another important resource, petroleum, is the mineral oil found in rocks. True to its name petroleum, petra meaning rock and oleum meaning oil. It is called rock oil. It takes thousands of years for oil molecules to form. Basically, the remains of creatures that existed millions of years ago chemically change and become compressed into sedimentary rocks. Over time, with pressure from the sea, these layers become even more compressed. With further chemical changes, the remains of these creatures turn into combinations of hydrogen and carbon. Once the location of oil is found, digging begins and pumps are used to extract both oil and gas into a reservoir. Since oil and gas are both bubbling, they have to be separated. So one pipeline will transport the gas and the other will transport the crude oil. Simply put, we can get petroleum by sinking special wells into oil-bearing rocks. Petroleum is used in many ways. 
petroleum is refined and used as fuel for motor cars, buses, scooters and airplanes. It is also distilled into liquefied petroleum gas or LPG which is commonly known as gas cylinders used for cooking food. It may be mixed with other non-hydrocarbons to create lubricants, paraffin wax and wax used in packaging of frozen foods. Petrol is also used for dry cleaning of clothes. Our Mother Earth has a wide range of natural resources that are essential for our day-to-day -day lives. Over the years, we have increasingly relied on these natural resources. Consequently, it is vitally important to try and conserve these resources and find suitable alternatives to replace and supplement them. We should reduce wastage of all kinds, reuse everything possible, protect the forests and save water, gas and electricity. It is estimated that the oil reserves of the world will run out in the next 50 years. So, it is of utmost importance that these natural resources like coal, petroleum, which are depleting faster than they should, should be conserved for mankind in order to survive. Recap We have learned The importance and uses of rocks and minerals The importance and uses of coal The importance and uses of petroleum. We have also learned what natural resources are and how to conserve them.